You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. My question is, is how many people will be caught up in the Jeffrey Ep, uh, Epstein orgy? Um, we know this man's a billionaire. He started out by teaching science and mathematics and then went on to work for Bear Stearns for about 10, 15 years at, on Wall Street and then founded his own um, uh, investment hedge fund firm and became an uber billionaire. He's got big money. He's got nine Mercedes Benz. He's got a Bentley. He's got a Rolls Royce. He has several private jets. He owns a $56 million townhouse on 71st Street here, East 71st Street here in New York City. He owns a, a, a town, palm, townhouse, I, I mean a, a mansion in Palm Beach, just a stone's throw from Mar-a-Lago. Uh, and he's got plenty of money, he has houses all over the world. He's got money, money, money. Uh, but the story report now is that several years ago, this, uh, this Acosta fellow, who's now the labor secretary for Tribulation Trump, allowed him to plead out on sexual molestation and pedophilia charges down in Florida. Uh, we was able to get away with a 13-month sentence where he could go to, to the Palm Beach jail and go out, be out 12 hours a day and come back and spend 12 hours inside the jail. Um, and it was a, it wasn't even a slap on the wrist. But now that the he's been rearrested, uh, not rearrested, but he's now being charged with more charges. Um, and my concern is already Alan Dershowitz, the famed uh, uh, Boston Harvard attorney, uh, is being caught up in this. There are also documentation that the Southern District of New York uh, have in their documents that President Bill Clinton was on um, uh, Jeffrey Epstein's plane 20 different times, flying to 20 different de uh, destinations. And that Tribulation Trump also has been documented in the manifest that Tribulation Trump has been on his plane as well. So now a large number of people are wondering who else is going to be caught up in this orgy. But um, the, this is a story that's been breaking now over the last three days. And it has a lot of legs, mainly because potentially a lot of other people are probably going to get caught up in this unless um, Bill Clinton can stop or Tribulation Trump can stop what may have been that their involvement with the, the sex and massages from these underage girls as well. Uh, so th everybody's curious about this and the, the Brooklyn district attorney. And now that the, these underage girls are now speaking out, they have a vocal voice. They now have the, the power of the media behind them. And uh, I'm going to let the engineer, you roll video clip number one, uh, because it appears that tribulation Trump's going to be caught up in this. I don't know that for sure. Uh, but Clip Tribulation Trump said something the other day about, you know, when some time ago in an interview that he likes Jeffrey Epstein. He's a fun guy to be with. And he likes beautiful women as much as I do. And he likes the younger ones. That's what Tribulation Trump said, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. Is that going to come back to haunt him? But Ray, roll clip number one, Mr. Engineer. Today, we announce the unsealing of sex trafficking charges against Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein is charged in a two-count indictment. First, conspiracy to commit sex trafficking, and second, the substantive crime of sex trafficking of underage girls. Preserving the innocence of children is one of the most important responsibilities we carry as adults. Purposely failing children in any way is not an option. And yet there are some in society who have chosen to blatantly disregard this responsibility using whatever means they have at their disposal to lure children into a life which they should never have been exposed. As we allege today, Jeffrey Epstein is one of those people. We are parents, we are community members, we are human beings. But as an FBI special agent and the head of this office, I have the privilege to represent and stand among many who make it our mission to put prior predators behind bars where they belong, regardless of the predator's power, wealth, or perceived connections. The alleged behavior shocks the conscience. And while the charge conduct is from a number of years ago, it is still profoundly important to the many alleged victims, now young women. They deserve their day in court. and We are proud to be standing up for them by bringing this indictment. 
Now, the, uh, the issue here is that whether or not, you know, other people are going to get caught up in this. Um, and 15, 20 years ago, Tribulation Trump was hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein. The labor secretary, his name was Acosta, uh, gave a sweetheart deal, plea deal, when he was the attorney general of the state of Florida. He's now been a, uh, appointed as labor secretary by Tribulation Trump. And Chuck Schumer, who is the minority leader of the Senate, is now calling for Acosta's resignation because, <coughs> pardon me, it is heinous what the way he was treated there, that the, the treatment, the special treatment that Jeffrey Epstein got uh, from Acosta at the time he was the attorney general for the state of Florida on state charges and then given a, a sense of immunity to all other persons who may have been connected, who may have been having sex with these young girls or having massages. Uh, they were all given immunity and, and only Jeffrey Epstein, who had to register as a sex offender, uh, and was given a 13-month sentence, but he served at the, the Dade County Jail, uh, the Palm Beach County Jail. So I, I guess a lot, we'll see how this goes. We'll see whether or not Trump can stop further investigations on this, as he's done with so many other things, or whether or not Bill Clinton will and Trump will join together uh, in this process. So we're going to keep an eye on this uh, because it's breaking all over everywhere, um, especially with respect to now that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer a calling for the resignation of now appointed Labor Secretary Acosta, who actually precipitated this egregious act against uh, these young girls who are now speaking out.